name is Charlie Brighter. I live in uh, Rabin County, Clayton, Georgia. And I'm a student uh, of Becky Peoples at uh, Saltina Coochie Center for the Arts. Yeah, is your work displayed at the Saltina Coochie Center? It is. I have the five pictures over at Saltina Coochie. The show started, I can't remember, early March. Of course, time has been pretty crazy lately. Yes, still sir. Still hanging, as I understand. Yes, sir. It is still hanging. Um, and we wanted to give people an opportunity to at least see some of the work. So that's one of the reasons we asked to do this interview with you today. Good. And a sunflower to talk about. Can you tell me a little bit about that piece? Well, the, the sunflowers, I've, that's become kind of a thing of mine. Uh, sunflowers, whether this a, a 40, 50 acre field of sunflowers or whether it's an individual blossom, uh, they're just, just fascinating. They're beautiful. Uh, I, I wouldn't call them a wildflower because most of the times they're planted, but uh, they, they're very distinctive when you see that great big golden flower with a big brown center and some of them have small brown centers and some of them are more yellow and some of them are more gold. Uh, to me, they're just fascinating, and, and I've looked at a lot of different ways to paint them. I certainly haven't settled on one yet. Sometimes I start with one idea, and it winds up in another one, but uh, sunflowers to me are just a, a, a wonderful thing to paint. I've got a granddaughter who likes anything I do with a sunflower on it. She just lo loves it, so that gives me a more inspiration to do it, too. Yes, sir. Uh, do you grow sunflowers or do you just see them when you're out and about? I do grow a few sunflowers. They take up a lot of room. I don't grow, but I have one little whiskey barrel full of dirt and I plant sunflowers in there and I get about 20 of them out of that. They're, they're crowded together, but it, it's very easy to do. And, and they're, they're just, uh, they're impressive with their big, big blossoms. And uh, there's just something that to me is a beautiful thing of nature. Yes, sir. Uh, you mentioned in our previous interview that you gather a lot of your inspiration from things that you just see out in nature. Um, besides sunflowers, what's one of the main things that you get inspiration from in nature? Well, vistas, looking at mountains, you know, where, where I live, where you live, you know, in, in the northeast Georgia, we've got beautiful mountain views and streams are always inspirational. Waterfalls, except for me, waterfalls are very hard to paint, but uh, just just peaceful scenes in nature. And maybe a, an, old, uh, an old barn or an old cabin, old farmstead. Uh, it makes me think about the, the people that lived here long ago. And that's, that's something I like to paint too. Getting involved in watercolor, do you think it really has an age on it that you have to start or do you think you can start at any age? Oh yeah, I think, you know, you, you just, it doesn't take a lot to get started. You know, you, you need to realize you don't go out and spend hundreds of dollars on paint and brushes. You don't need that much. I just bought a good many more, but I've been doing it for a long time and you, know, you always want something else, but you can get started easily. And um, if, you, if you don't try it, you don't know. And if, if you paint something that you like, that's all that matters. It's yours. It's, it's what you've done. And you'll find people will encourage you to do it. Uh, what, it what you think is beautiful, somebody else may not, but that doesn't matter as, as long as you're happy with it. Yes, sir. So right now, while everyone's having to stay at home, do you think this is a good activity that they could do? They don't oh, have yeah. to the house. Oh, yeah. They can look outside. Or you could you could just look out the window and paint what you see. Uh, if you have a, a way to sit outside, it might be better. And if it doesn't, paint something inside. Paint a still life. Just put a put a few items together on a table and say that's going to be my picture. It's going to be a, a stack of books, a vase of flowers, a, a candle holder, so anything like that. You can kind of arrange them the way you want to, and then then paint a picture of them. Yes, sir. Well, thank you for joining us today. It's been my pleasure. Thank you for doing this.